We're headed to Wally World. Well, actually, Omicron is out there, so we're actually just going to go to Walmart.com and purchase a plastic yarn needle for $1 and some change. So if you haven't seen my first video about slippage, click the link above. In that video, I go into much more detail about my struggles with slippage and five things I do to combat slippage. So save that video. And the five tips in that video start around the six minute timestamp. So this is the plastic yarn needle I use. And the next photo will show you how my hair would slip out. So per my loctician, I was prescribed to self-retighten my perimeter every two weeks. Um, so that's what I have to do to battle slippage. Now, I did take the online retightening class by Sister Locks, and I learned a lot, and I'm still learning. So this video is not about how to self-retighten your locks. I'm not qualified, certified, or anything in no shape, form, or fashion <laughs> um, qualified to teach or explain it, and I'm still learning myself. This is just showing you how I combat slippage for now. So what about you? Do you self retighten your locks? Um, is that something that you're thinking about doing in the future? Well, my issue is that my sister locks retightening tool is about this long and my baby lock is only about this long. So I wasn't able to do a rotation just using the sister locks tool. And, you know, most likely this is not the loctician approved method, um, but this is, you know, what I have to do because my loctician lives very far away from me. So it's not convenient for me to travel that far. I just wanted to take a moment to let you know about Brawny Locks and the Three Cones. That is a fun book that I am writing and self-publishing about a young girl's journey to locks. Okay, so I use made this little tool using the plastic yarn needle. So I just cut it down to the size that I thought would work, about half the size of the lock. And then I actually use it, um, I used a, a, a fingernail file to sharpen the edges and that's what I use. Now I only use that tool on my baby locks. I do not use it on the rest of my hair. I use the sister locks retightening tool. Um, I only use this for the perimeter and only on the very, very short ones. Um, so I kind of do an eye measure. Um, my baby locks were really short so I opted to do a tool that would be about the length of the shortest one or less. I cut it and then I used a file to, to sharpen the edge and it works. So you can see I just did one there for you um, and the tool only cost me like a dollar and some change. So this next picture is just kind of giving you a size comparison and this is the finished product so I was able to do all those little ones in the front using that tool. I also want to tell you about brownielocks.com. You can go there and pick up some positive lock merchandise. Um, some of the slogans locked hair is good hair. So just go check it out. The link is in the description if you want to look at that. Some um, nice little quotes that I designed and created to spread the lock positivity. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was helpful to you.